Hi people, today we're gonna see how to create custom post type in Gutenberg. You can do that easily by watching this video tutorial. After watching my video, you will be able to create any custom post type and custom categories inside Gutenberg from scratch. So, make sure you watch this video till the end to learn how to do it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. Let's get started. To create the custom post type into my site, I follow through carefully with the three necessary steps. There are three steps. The first step is to install and activate Post Unlimited plugin. To install, go to the WordPress dashboard plugin step, add new. Search for Post Types Unlimited plugin. This is the plugin to assist us for the creation of the custom post types. Let's click install and then click on the activate button. You can check the plugin if the clap if you can check if the plugin has been installed by clicking on the plugin settings or by clicking on the new plugins tab on the WordPress dashboard. Now we go to the second step. Once it's done, I need to configure the plugin the right way so that I can work inside the Gutenberg editor with the Gutenberg blocks. So, to configure the Post Unlimited plugin, we go to the Post Types Admin menu tab, Head, I fill in the name and labels fields this way. My custom post type name is Recipe. The label is the same name in plural and the singular name is Recipe. The public I set the default to true so that the type is visible. In the publicly queryable set it to true so that queries can be performed perform on the front end. Show in admin bar. Yes. Position 3. Menu icon, which is the custom icon for the menu item. We can select the icon. Mine is a format gallery. Capability type post. Hierarchical, yes. Supports, I enable title, editor, author, thumbnail, and that's it. These are the available meta box inside our single po custom post type when editing in Gutenberg. The core taxonomies is categories and post tags has archive, yes, to enabling the post type archives list page where all the custom post types entries can be listed. Rewrite, yes, with front, or yes. And most importantly, enable the show in REST API so that it's enabling to work in Gutenberg. Publish. 
Next, we go to the WordPress dashboard. Here, it is my custom post type in my admin menu. When hovering at the top, we get the four options to add new categories, tags, and the option to list them all. The cadence theme settings determine how we want the custom post time to be designed on the site. By going to the Appearance, Customize, Custom Post Types panel, we get two different ways to customize the single custom post type and archive page. This is a great feature we get from the Cadence theme. In the general, the first recipes layout is for the single custom post type. This is where we define the design layout, whether we want a custom sidebar. In this, I want to enable the option to show feature image by dragging to the right. And to the bottom, we have the ability to control the layout for mobile devices. In the design tab is where we define the colors of the HTML elements for desktops and mobile devices. My third step is to set up the custom post type. So we go to the WordPress dashboard Post Types menu, Head New. Let's create now the template for my first custom post type. So, WordPress Dashboard, Recipes, Add New. I call it Chicken Meatballs. I put a feature image, also a category to group by a specific topic. I will be building this template with four cadence blocks, accordion, spacer, paragraph and the form block to share this recipe. So I click on the plus icon to add a new block. I type in accordion block from the free cadence blocks. Next, you need to select how to display the accordion layout. There are three layouts. I go with this one. Let's customize it a little. Select the title with our mouse. Then write down ingredients. The next step is to add a new block inside the accordion block. So I click on the plus sign or press the enter key of your keyboard. And then I type in icon list block. I added my dummy ingredients. For the second pane, I select the title text with my mouse and I write down instructions. Then I add a new icon list block by clicking on the plus sign and I fill it in with some dummy text. And finally for the third pane, I select again the title text and changed into notes quite easily. Then I had a new block inside it and had a list block with two items. Update.
My second block is a, a paragraph. Subscribe, align to the center. Update. The third cadence block is a spacer block. Click on the plus icon and search for spacer. Give it 100 pixels height. Update to the top. The four block is a form block from cadence. I've deleted the message fields. I change the button text into get printable now. Update. To speed up the video, I've created two more custom post types and call them product 2, product 3, as you can see. Once it's done, we, we realize that my custom post types get the same categories as the posts list. In order to register, a new independent category, we need to re register a new separate taxonomy. Let's begin, it's quite easy. So WordPress dashboard, post types tab, taxonomy, head new. The name is custom post types categories. The main settings are name is my cats should only contain lowercase letters and the underscore character because of the WordPress structure restriction. The label is my cats. The singular is my cat. The post style soup support and this is the key point to register a new taxonomy category to my custom post type is recipes check it to true for the public carable show why show in menu show in nav menus show in rest api and show in tech cloud and others set them all to true update as you can see i have assigned successfully my custom post categories to my custom post type let's add now this this new my cat's taxonomy to my chicken meatballs recipes. My new category will be chicken. So, recipes tab. Overing on top, we get this new entry, my cat's. Click on it. The name is how uh, is how appears on the site is chicken. The slug, which is the URL friendly version of the name in lowercase, is chicken. Parent my cat none. We could assign a parent to create a hierarchy. Finally, click on the button to save the work. Let's see my recipes custom post types. Custom post type chicken meatballs edit in Gutenberg editor. To the right of your screen, and this is a note, the cog icon to the right top 
should be selected. We find the categories names for my normal posts. American, breakfast, dessert and so on. And these are assigned to the posts. Now scroll down a little. We find the new setting menu. My cats with my new keyword chicken. Done. So that's it people. This is how you can create custom post types and custom taxonomies to your site. If you need a tutorial to show you how to display custom post type on a portfolio layout as a grid, mansory, carousel, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you will hit the subscribe and the like buttons to be notified when I release new videos. Thank you for watching. I see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.